we're gonna open this up and put it on our cutting board just like that. All right, y'all, so what we're gonna do here is unroll this, lock so, and then we're gonna take our little pizza cutter and we're just gonna cut it into little strips like this. That's not very even, but that's all right. All right, okay. Careful not to cut your finger. Okay, now, once we have this, we're gonna roll these little pieces into balls. Y'all know how, I, how much I love balls? I love cookie balls, now we're doing pizza balls, all right? So now, when I have these balls, I'm just gonna leave them right here. I didn't think about what I was gonna do for a second, but yeah, I'm just gonna roll these all into little balls, all right? And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. We got, we, this, this is a few steps here, but um, you know what? It's gonna be delicious. Y'all are gonna love it. So uh, this recipe actually was sent to me by Rhonda Davis Smith, and um, I'm excited to try it. I think it's gonna be amazing. And uh, I forgot what else I was gonna say about that. So Rhonda, if I mess something up, I'm, I'm trying to do this from memory, and I think I got it, but also I might not. So these balls are not very pretty, but that's okay. I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best. Okay, y'all, and you know what? I actually think, uh, okay, y'all, so this is, we got a lot going on here. I got my red bunt pan, so you know what? I think for this, we might need more, but also we have some other stuff to add, so this is what we gonna do, y'all, okay? I'm moving my bunt pan to the side. I'm bringing my bowl in, in my bowl. We gonna add about two cups of cooked chicken, two cups or so. All right, that's, I think that's two cups, right? That looks like it's right. All right. We also gonna add about one cup of bacon. One cup of bacon, that's about a cup. All right, next, mozzarella cheese. About two cups or so. One, two, two cups. All right, then we adding about a cup of Parmesan cheese. Parmesan, mm, mm, mm. All right, that's great. I'm just eyeballing all of this. Uh, we have some fresh parsley chopped up right on in. We have some garlic powder. All right, Rhonda, I think I, think I remembered everything, but my, my measurements might be a little different than yours. A little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. All right, and then we also gonna add a little bit of olive oil, like two tablespoons or so. One, two, all right. And before we do anything else, we're gonna give this a little mixy-mixy, all right? We're gonna mix all this together. So yeah, Rhonda, you know what? Now that I'm thinking, I might do this a little bit different than you did, but that's just because, because, for, just because, all right? So now, y'all, what I think we're gonna do here, what Rhonda said to do is we're gonna put all these, these little pizza balls in our mixture. I'm trying to get them all in, all right. So my bunt pan is kind of small. Rhonda said to use two packages, but I'm not sure if two's gonna fit in mine, so we, we're gonna see. And uh, yes, I'm using my hands to mixy mixy. Yes, I am making a big old mess. We have chicken, bacon, garlic, knot. That's what she calls it. So you know what? Now I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna move this back a little. This is a big old mess. Big old mess. All right, right there. So I'm gonna take these balls. All right, and I'm gonna arrange these like so. All right, y'all, so we just uh, putting these balls in here. Let's see, I, I don't, I'm, I'm still debating whether I should do another can of balls or not. I can't, I don't know, cause I know this stuff like, um, it expands when it cooks, so I honestly feel like this might be good for my, cause my bunt pan is kind of small. But now I'm like, I have all this mixture left and my cat just meowed in the background. You know what, y'all? I'm still deciding, but you know what? I, I did just decide. We just putting all this on top. All right, yeah, because look, look at all this stuff I have. There's no way more pizza balls would fit in here. So this is what we're doing. And I feel like it's still gonna expand a little. Oh, look at this ball. Shoot, I'm gonna put that under there. That one got loose. Okay, so that looks great. We got one ball right there, even though I want it underneath a little more. And now I'm gonna save this for later. Now what we gonna do here, I'm gonna pour some uh, pizza sauce on top. I'm gonna use about half of this jar, all right? So Rhonda said um, to uh, mix it in, but again, I'm doing it a little bit different than her. We're just gonna pour it right on top. Yep, I used about half. All right, y'all. So this is going in the oven at uh, 375 for about 20 minutes. I'm so excited to try this amazing garlic knot pizza. All right, y'all, someone wanted to say hi. <laughs> right, Boopy? Look, if I don't go and wake him up from his daytime nap by a certain time, he comes out. And here he is. Yeah, here he is. Say hi, baby. 
Everyone wants to see your pretty eyes. What are you looking up at? Oh, we just love him so much. All right, y'all. My husband, Fred, is driving me crazy. I don't know why. Okay, y'all, this is real weird, but I, I just called my husband, Fred, Ted, twice. Ted is my cat that passed away like a year and a half ago, and I don't know why he's on my mind today. Anyways, uh, now I forgot R Rhonda, Rhonda, was that her name? Rhonda, Rhonda, this was her recipe that she sent me. I think, I, I don't know, I can't remember anything right now. Okay, I'm thinking about Ted, I'm thinking about Fred, I'm thinking about Kevin. So here we go. This is the garlic chicken bacon pizza thing. Um, so guess what time it is, y'all? This always makes me nervous, but we're gonna we're gonna put it on here and we're gonna see how it turned out. Rhonda Davis Smith, is that right? Yes, I remembered. See, I knew I would remember in a second. All right, y'all. Here we go. This is her recipe. She sent me to try. I made it a little bit different, probably because I have a smaller uh, bunt pan. But here we go, y'all. I gotta look first. Oh my goodness, y'all! This looks amazing. Wow, that looks so good. Little crusty cheese on top. Fred, don't that look good? Ooh, that smells good. All right, y'all, so this is what we gonna do. We are gonna serve it with a little bit of sauce right in the middle, and then uh, we gonna try some. So I don't even know where to take a piece from. Oh gosh, okay, maybe right here. Fred, I don't even know what to do here. Oh my goodness, all right, here we go, I'm trying. Oh y'all, I gotta get some of this stuff. Okay, I don't know the easiest way to eat this, but this is what I'm doing. I'm just gonna dip it in here, and here we go. Oh, I lost my cheese. Y'all, this is so good. Look, I'm just gonna keep eating, I'm hungry. Rhonda, girl, this is so good. I can't even stop eating it. Y'all, y'all have to try this. Oh my goodness, it is so good. 